This flight controller records altitude, acceleration along the y-axis, pitch, yaw, roll, and temperature. It also deploys a parachute after a set amount of time or after apogee has been detected. A piece of double-sided tape and two wires hold the board to the PVC pipe and a LiPo battery provides power. The PVC pipe fits snugly on top of the rocket. For parachute deployment, I use an inline system similar to the one that Air Command water rockets used. The deploy time for these flights was 4 seconds. Uno. Unfortunately, I stopped filming after the parachute opened. The controller calculates altitude from pressure measurements. When there is direct sunlight shining on the pressure sensor, this one yields wrong readings. There is also an offset cancellation problem that I fixed in the code later. An error in the code meant that the parachute did not deploy and data was not saved. For the next flight, I fixed the software issue and blocked the sunlight with a piece of cardboard. Three, two, one. Tres, dos, uno. In this last flight, the controller detected Apogee automatically. Here is some of the data from the test flights. There is large acceleration when the parachute opens. The plus 1G of acceleration is due to the fact that the parachute was tied to the tail of the rocket, so it came nose down during the descent. At touchdown, there is another acceleration peak. After that, the value is 0 Gs, since it was resting horizontally. The roll data from the three flights tells us that the rocket always spins in the same direction. After the parachute opens, there are oscillations in the roll angle. Because of this is a swaying motion about the shock cord. In the next video I will show how to program the flight controller, how to use it and how to extract data from it.